Hello everyone, Mimi here, and I wanted to show you my latest project I just got finished with. Um, I absolutely think this turned out really, really cute, really great. I love the color scheme. Um, I had a, bought these black um, Graphic 45 uh, tags, and they're the large ones, and they come with this ring on there, and they had already had the brads on them. So my idea was to kind of make this a journal out of it, a tag journal. So I took and embellished every one of these on both sides, and I did a little tutorial on my collage media um, page here and decided to make a little book um, out of it, a journal book out of it. And so we'll start with the tags. I'm gonna show you each one of them. I did a lot of sewing on these, and they just are filled with goodies. Bring this down a little bit. All kinds of really cute. These are little service checks I had bought recently. Um, I, here's a little, another little, kind of it's like a little booklet, but it has uh, recipes for um, drinks on there because I got this with some kind of, I don't know what I bought one time and it came with that. And I, I just thought the colors were so cute on it, so I decided to keep it. And uh, it says, trust your heart. And then on this side, I did uh, um, another little, got a little tag here. It says create, um, just all kinds of ephemera in here. I did this button um, tag thing up and sewed some buttons on there. And love the way this turned out. Just put create on it, put some collage, um, some dually on there, black lace. It's just really, really pretty. Made this little book here up. This is just a small book for writing. And this little tag here I thought was real cute. Got this off a shirt, and it says, You are beautiful inside and out. I put stamped that on some, sorry, some linen, and put that on there. And this right here is one of my favorites. It is so pretty. Let's see if I can bring this back down a little bit. Um, I love this lady right here on the front. Okay, she's wanting to stick. Okay, there she comes. Uh, what's her name? Lily? I can't remember all of a sudden. These right here are some, came off my uh, tea that I drink, and it says, the creation of Thousand Forest is in one acorn. Ralph Waldo Emerson. So I've been noticing there's a lot of quotes on those, on those tea bags that I get. So I've been taking them off and uh, putting them in my, my crap, my, in, for my embellishments and stuff and my ephemera. And I love this collage, and I, I made this out of a file folder and just kind of did some scroll stuff on there, and uh, a punch out. This right here is a really cute pocket I made up using paper dually. I sewed it on there, and uh, it's got a little pocket right here, and another cute little tag that says Joy. Um, there's another little... Card, um, card back here. It says, live life being vintagey and fabulous. I love that saying. <laughs> and here is um, a little collage I made up. It's got a little girl on there. Just use buttons and stuff. Use my little paper. These actually come off. My little paper, um, paper towel rosettes that I made and I did a tutorial on. Okay, here's another one. This one has a bunch of good stuff in it. Everything I'm using is kind of a tea dyed color. Um, very, very, very vintage look to it. So, love the way um, that turns out when I tea dye this. This is a cute little tag I made up at my mom's with her stamps. She has a lot of stamps, so I enjoy going to her house and getting to use her stamp collection. N removable rosette there. These are on just, I made this as a double-sided one. Um, and this is actually a beautiful paper that I got from CJ Christopher. And it actually folds out. Uh, if it's not stuck together, you can fold it out and write on it. So that's a little neat uh, way to do a folder, I mean a pocket. I'll get it out in a minute. Y'all you, know once I start talking, my words get all jumbled. I say crazy things. <laughs> anyway, 
So this one turned out really cute too. Um, just like I said, there's just a little cute thing. I didn't double side all of them, but some of them I did. This is, I put the, printed this on um, fabric. It's got like a little be belly band on there. Love these little service checks. I think I got those from TLC Creates, I think. Not for sure. But you can do them up in different sizes. I just did up a s small ones. I can't get this one out. It wants to be ugly. Sometimes your stuff sticks. This is real cute um, index card I did up. These tea dye ups, so fantastic. It looks so vintage. Okay, got that one done. Here's one that I made up. This is a flip out that um, I got the idea from, oh gosh, what's her name? Ermelinda. Arm her Melinda Aguilera, and her husband actually um, does a little tutorial on this, another t uh, index card I did up. And she shows, he shows how to make these, and this has got like a little writing thing on the inside. So if you haven't checked that out, look at her. Um, I'll try to put that on my YouTube, the little tutorial that they have. Um, she has a lot of little short tutorials that are really cute and have great ideas. Her name is um, Hermelinda Aguilera. This is one of my most favorite. I love this paper right here. And this girl, lady here is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm, I also have a little tutorial I did up on this. So I've got to put that up um, probably before I put this up. So you might have already seen it. Here's another one of those cute little things I did a tutorial on. This is another fold out, um, and it's got quite a few pockets in here. Lovely lady there. And this is a little small envelope that I made with my little envelope making thing that I got from Tuesday morning. And just, just I glued it on there. Love that little envelope maker. It's so, I love small envelopes anyway. So my, one of my I love doing them. I think they're the neatest thing. And here's this side. I had, you know, this, it didn't take me too awfully long to do this, but it would end up being a little bit more time consuming than I thought because you know me, I've got to add 10 million things to it. So here's some tags I made up. And my mom, I took this to my mom's house when I went to her house last week. And some of these things I made at my mom's because like I said, she has a lot of good stamps. And I'm fortunate enough that I get to go to my mom's house and we get to play in her craft room. And she has a lot of things that she always lets me, she'll say, oh, you can have that. So she's always letting me have stuff and I'm so thankful that she's, she's very generous with her uh, stuff. And she's already eyeballed this. I took it and showed it to her and she's like, are you gonna sell that? And I said, yes, I'm planning on selling it. And she was like, well, I wanna buy it. So I don't know, we'll see if she still wants it, but she may be ended up being the one to buy this. So um, she loved, this is one of her, she loves the vin real vintage look. So uh, when she seen this, she was like, oh, I want this so bad. This right here, I did a little tutorial on it too. This is actually a coffee filter and I put Mod Podge on it, made it really waxy. So I just thought that turned out so cute, love that. Okay, here's another one, I keep turning them over. Here's some more of my collage mixed media, I call it. And I thought it turned out really, really cute. Love, I just, this is one of my most favorite things to do too. I mean, of course I love everything, but this is another one of those tea, uh, come off one of my tea bags. It says, the gate to happiness is self-compassion. So we always need to have compassion. I love the stamp, my favorite, absolute favorite stamp. I don't wanna, wonder if I say that about everything. And here is a shaker thing that I made up. Um, I showed that in my tutorial, but I got this idea from Hermelinda again, Aguilera, and she shows how to make these. So. She has, a, like I said, she had some great ideas and I definitely decided to uh, do some of them. So, all right, that's all of that. So, that is my tag 
um, Craft It 45 Black Tag Junk Journal. And here is my journal that I made up. Let me see if I can pull this out a little bit. Okay, this turned out so cute. And I used these, um, I sewed in this, it's got one signature, I sewed it in. And I put this little cute button on here. This is these little uh, wooden spools that Miss Coggs has a little tutorial on. And they turned out so cute. I love the way they turned out. Just put some, you know, um, material on there. This has got a seam binding uh, ribbon on here. And I really, really had a fun time making this and had made the, made the base of this a long time ago just from scraps. And so then I went in there and put the stuff on there because I kept thinking, what am I ever gonna do with this? So I finally decided to use it and I thought it turned out really cute. cute. I enjoyed it, it was so much fun. I just kind of started putting stuff on there, but I have a tutorial on it that I did up, so you might, I'm probably gonna put that up first, you might have already seen it. Anyway, um, these right here are some pockets that I made up. Um, Patty, that's, oh, I, I can't remember, I can't think of her YouTube name, but it's Treasures something. I'm terrible, I forget to write down stuff. Sorry, y'all, but she, somebody, has a YouTube out there, and she put her on down as the, the person that made these. Well, anyway, they're they're just so cute. Um, she did hers up like this, so I copied her, hers, and she made it where she had the very vintage look in which this is what I needed. So I made these up, and they turned out fantastic. And it's just one sheet of paper, of uh, um, scrapbook paper that you cut. Um, I think this is like a six inch five and a half inch. Uh, you want it to not be too big, so. And it's kind of bigger. I think, it, I can't remember the exact size of it, but it was probably about a 10, 10 inch piece of paper. And you fold it, and then you make a pocket here, and you make a pocket here. And then you just embellish it. Well, she, the lady made hers really, really colorful, and I, she might have used hers out of material. But I cho chose to make mine like, um, Patty did. And this is, shows you what I did that day. I just took strips of tea dyed paper and stuck them down. And then I was like, okay, what are you going to ever do with this? So I finally used it. I thought this turned out so pretty. I love this. And I will be using this um, particular technique here, this pocket, on a lot of stuff. Okay, this is actually a copy of something that my mom gave me. And so I thought it was so cute. I wanted to copy it and put it in my book. And here is some writing paper. Here's just one of those um, beautiful bags that we love. Um, this right here is a picture that my mom had. I, I just took a photocopy of it. It says, those we love don't go away. They'll walk beside us every day. And I just love the way that guy's looking at that, his wife or his honey, because he's looking at her like, you're the best thing ever. And so <laughs> I love that. And these right here are, I got from Deli Girl 1961. They were, they're very vintage little pictures that I think I got them off her website. And um, I've used them before in my, making my journals, but anyway. And here's another one of those fold outs. I have just, um, you fold it out and you can use it to write on this very easy little technique. I think I got that from Clemmie's Creation. She has some tutorials on that. Beautiful paper here. All this stuff's tea dyed. Here is a cute little uh, paper clip I did up, just using scrapbook paper and then just a little collage. This is a little bag that I made a while back and I thought I'm gonna finally use it. So um, it's just got some goodies in here. It's a lot of really cute stuff that I tea dyed and pretty, pretty um, em em ephemera. And like I said, my mom's eyeballing this, so she may end up being the one to buy it. And it, I don't really, I don't like selling stuff from my mom, but you know, I told her, I said, well, I'm planning on selling it. And she's like, well, I don't see how you sell all your journals. They're so pretty. And I told her, I said, well, that's why I make them. It's because I sell them for other people because it, you know, you want to, I said, it makes me feel good that other people want to buy my stuff. So, I enjoy making making these. So, 
I'm just thankful that uh, people want to buy them. All right, here is a kind of one of those paper clip dangles. And I used a paper clip there. You can see it. Oh, goodness. Uh, did it, uh, put it on one of those bobbed, um, oh, I don't know what you call those, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And there's some more of those tea bag deals. So it's got a little tea bag thing on it. So, and some seam binding ribbon. Let me pull this back out a little bit. Okay. There you go. Another one of those beautiful vintage ladies. And I love to tea dye this stuff up because it comes out so vintage. And this was um, a real pretty picture my mom had, so I just took a picture of it and stuck it on there. I thought this turned out cute. Here's another one of those little paper clips I did up, and I put one of Tim Holtz's little babies on there. If you can see it, that cute. And y'all don't look at my fingernails, they look terrible. Okay. I love this because it looks like a little kid's um, school thing. And so I put that little girl in there. And I just thought that was so cute. I love that. Turned out precious. And this picture here is really pretty. And another one of my little paper clips I did up. And I just added some more of those tea bag things on there. And they got little sayings on there. There's always really good sayings on there. So, And don't you just love this paper? I have some of that... Um, Stuff, when I put it in the oven, the baked pans, they have circle, little circles, open circles on them. And here is a little um, pocket on the side. So, I'm going way over my time. Sorry, y'all. I didn't mean for this to be so long. I'll try to hurry up. Here is a pocket here. I made this and sewed it on a file folder. It says, um, the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. That is so true. That's just a copy of that beautiful um, Sears and Roebuck. And this right here, I just did a collage up. These little girls on there, I thought they were so cute in their ballet costumes. And you know, I love my dress forms. Here's another little pocket I made up. Sticks up there. More little beautiful paper. and made a copy of that and here's some more little things I copied and put some more Tim Holtz paper dolls on there and this little saying says I see trees of green red roses too I see them bloom for for me and you and I think to myself what a wonderful world Louis Louis Armstrong paper bag here with some goodies in there this is actually a little envelope and another one of those pretty pictures I got from Deli Girl. And it's really hard for me to do, pit, do books that are all vintage. I'm kind of a color girl, but I did get a little color in there, y'all can see. Another paper you can write on. More of that beautiful page that I made a copy of and some more vintage stuff. Another one of those pockets um, that Patty did up thought it turned out really cute. This was actually, um, something came on this. I actually, I save all that card stock that you get things on uh, that we use in our crafts because they, they really are good for a lot of stuff. And that's a cute little um, tag I made up. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, thank y'all so much for the people who are subscribed to my channel. And um, just keep watching. Um, I'm gonna be gone for a while, but uh, you know I'm gonna try to do some videos during in the meantime while I'm gone. So thank y'all so much. Y'all have a blessed day.